In this video I'm going to go through the process of creating a new project, importing in the mesh, and then I'll also show the basics of the Substance Painter interface. So to start I'll go File, New, and for this project I'm going to choose the PBR Metallic Roughness or Logarithmic Preset. And where it says File here, I'm going to click Select and go to where the uh, FBX was stored and choose that. So my Hammer X FBX and click Open. And then down here where it says Document Resolution, I'm going to change that to 2048. This is something that can be changed after the fact, um, but I know that I want to create a 2048 texture, so I'm just going to start with that. And normal map format, we want I want to keep at DirectX. So I will click OK. And now my uh, 3D model will show up in the 3D viewport and the 2D viewport will show the UV layout and uh, the basic material. So navigating around in the 3D viewport is pretty much the same as Maya. So if you hold down Alt and the left mouse button, it allows you to rotate around. Alt and right mouse allows you to zoom in and out and Alt and middle mouse allows you to pan around. Over here you have a variety of tools um, that we'll be using in the various coming videos. Um, the paintbrush tool is the most common one. Over here you have your texture set list and if you notice my only texture set here is this M underscore hammer and that is the name of the material that I created and applied to the mesh in Maya. So if you have multiple materials applied to your mesh in Maya, those will show up as different texture sets and they actually are different textures that you'll be painting. Uh, in this case we just have the one texture set which is what we want. Down here you have the layers, which work very similarly to layers in Photoshop. Over here you have your texture set settings. And um, when working in Substance Painter, one of the strengths of Substance Painter is the procedural generators that you can use to quickly um, add details to your textures. And for those procedural de generators, you actually need um, several different maps to uh, make the generators work. And in the next video, we'll actually be baking out those maps. Down here are the properties. Um, I'm right now just on a paint layer, so it is showing the properties for the brush. And then if you scroll down, you can add different alphas to it. And then over here, it's saying what um, properties of the material that you will be painting on that layer. So you can paint all of the material channels or you can choose to turn these off and just paint one or a few at the same time. All right, so in, oh, and down here you have your material libraries. You have um, a lot of different tabs that you can choose through, your alphas, grunges, procedurals, and a lot of these we'll be using through the texturing process, um, general brushes, things like that. In the next video, we'll, I will go over the process of uh, baking out the maps that are needed for using procedural generators and things like that.